Um, so we're arguing that a common core should be rescinded from the uh, from public schools. Uh, my first, I will talk to you guys about uh, my first significance claim, uh, which is common core is doing more harm than good for the public education system. Um, common core's focus is misguided. Uh, Anthony Esselson, English professor at Providence College, said, "What well, palsy most about the standards is the cavalier content." for great works of human art and thought in literary form is a sheer ignorance of the life of the imagination. We are not programming machines. We are teaching children. We are not producing functionaries, factory-like. We are to be forming the minds and hearts of men and women to be human beings, honoring what is good and right and cherishing what is beautiful. Um, the implementation of the Common Core will be very costly in the long haul, and the maintenance of it as well. Um, the Thomas B. Fordham Institute, a Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit in 2012, published a study entitled Putting a Price Tag on the Common Core, How Much Will It uh, Cost? for implementation um, and assessments nationwide, which estimated a price tag of about $16 billion over seven years, but no one really knows what the final price tag for Common Core will be. Um, and uh, teachers are constrained by Common Core standards and the monitoring tests that accompany them. Award-winning educator Nancy Atwell, talking to CNN, said an influential language arts director, <clears throat> I mean, said, uh, gave advice to young people interested in becoming public school teachers today, don't do it. She said, the new Common Core curriculum and the tests that accompany it are tending to treat teachers as mere technicians. They open the box and they read the script and that's not what good teaching is about. It's an intellectual enterprise and that's been stripped from it by the current climate. And uh, my second claim uh, is that Common Core is not so common in this practice. Uh, its implementation is based on district interpretation. Um, I have a quote here from McShane Michael Q. Uh, if states are allowed to create their own tests and set associated test scores for proficiency or implement the standards as they best interpret them, any common element of the common core will fade away. This risks fracturing the national marketplace standards created back into the 50 independent markets that existed before the standards were, standards were adopted. Uh, common core standards benefit some states, but they also hurt others. Um, Andrew Porter is a former president of the American Educational Research Association. He says, there is much to criticize about the standards, as there are several sets of standards, including those in California, the District of Columbia, Florida, Indiana, and Washington, that are clearly better, yet Common Core is vastly superior, not just a little better, but vastly superior to the standards in more than 30 states. Common Core's promotion of educational equity fails to account for differences in initial resources linked to demographic variables. From the Common Core's official site, Quote, the standards promote equity by ensuring all students are, where, uh, are well prepared to collaborate and com compete with their peers in the United States and abroad. Minnie L. Kornhaber is an associate professor in the Department of Education Policy Studies at Pennsylvania State University at University Park. She says, given its equal conception, the Common Core cannot close achievement gaps any more than the same icing will transform different cakes. Policies and resources aligned to an expansive view of equity are needed to foster more equal chances of school and life success for children and Dis in, uh, from disparate circumstances. Uh, and for my final claim, Common Core does not solve the real issues plaguing the public education system. Common Core further exasperates the failures of past education initiatives. Failed initiatives like initiatives like No Child Left Behind have shown us that focusing on the evaluation test is the wrong way to go. Common Core still does that. Uh, quote from the Washington Post, the entire country just finished a decade-long experiment in standard-based test-driven school reform called No Child Left Behind. NCLB required states to adopt rigorous curriculum standards and test students annually to gouge progress towards reaching them. Under threat of losing federal funds, all 50 states adopted or revised their standards and began testing every student every year in every grade from 3 to 8 and again in high school. Before NCLB, only 19 states tested all kids every year. After NCLB, all 50 did. Common Core discourages teachers. That's yeah, well, the same teacher that I quoted earlier. Uh, when asked what she would tell students considering current teaching, she said that she tried to dissuade them unless they were interested in working in private school. Public school teachers are so constrained now by the Common Core standards and the tests that are developed to monitor what teachers are doing with them. If you're a creative, young, smart person, I don't think this is the time to go into teaching unless an independent school would suit you. Uh, and also, Common Core does not consider the human element in public education. Educational success depends, I have a quote from Brian Farmer, and from an article, Common Core is wrought to the core. Educational success depends on the dedication of teachers, the motivation of students, and the support of parents. How does Common Core address those components of the process? One is hard pressed to find the answer to that question when listening to the promoters of Common Core. In fact, one is likely to come away with the impression that Common Core simply does not deal with those issues. 
Uh, and our plan of action is that the state should abandon Common Core. The Common Core's claim to be on par with other leading nations is false. From the Common Core's official website, the standards are designed to build upon the most advanced current thinking about preparing all students for success in college, career, and life. This will result in moving even the best state standards to the next level. In fact, since this work began, there has been an explicit agreement that no state will lower its standards. The standards were informed by the best in the country, the highest international standards, and evidence and expertise about educational out outcomes. But a quote from the same article Common Core has brought to the core that I quoted earlier. Uh, it says, rather than pushing all states toward high standards, Common Core is encouraging a race to the medi medi mediocre middle. For example, while Mississippi standards appear to get, be getting stronger by adopting Common Core, the standards in Massachusetts get weaker. Several curriculum experts have examined the math and English art standards and have discovered some alarming weaknesses. In fact, because of those concerns, both Sandra Sotsky and James Milgram, who served on the Common Core's validation committee, refused to sign the final validation report. Um, special interests drove the, CS, uh, the, the Common Core standards development and implementation. A quote from the Washington Post reads, for starters, the misnamed Common Core state standards are not state standards, they're national standards, created by Bill and Melinda Gates funded consultants for the National Governors Association. They were designed in part to circumvent federal restrictions on the adoption of a national curriculum, hence the insertion of the word state in the brand name. States were coerced into adopting the Common Core by requirements attached to the federal race to the top grants and later the no trial left behind waivers. States were bribed to join the initiative. Um, in order to receive race to the top grants, states had to commit to a set of uh, content standards that the final students must know and be able to do that are substantially identical across all states and consortium. In 2011, the Obama administration made the adoption of common standards even easier. Most states were still obligated to meet the onerous No Child Left Beyond requirements, but the U.S. Department of Education promised No Child Left Beyond waivers to states that adopted a common set of college-ready and career-ready standards and assessments. Common Core will cost a substantial amount of money. Uh, common Core will be very expensive to implement and maintain, uh, says the new American. The Thomas B. Fordham Institute, Washington, D.C. based nonprofit, estimated the price tag of $16 billion over seven years. And uh, funds used for Common Core implementation could be better utilized. Rita Solnit, a former PTA president at Eagles Landing Middle School west of Boca Raton, said textbook and testing companies will benefit most. It has been estimated that Palm Beach County alone might have to spend $15 million on new math textbooks. Big money seems to be driving these decisions, Solnit said. After the standards are adopted, curriculum and assessments must be aligned with those standards and add to the test preparation packages, professional development for teachers, and this is a bottomless pit of money being spent on new materials and not on children. That's it.